Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In our previous video, we discussed the basics of loop in R. In this video, we are going to delve deeper into loops and we are going to use loops to work with data frames. So how do we work uh, with data frames and use loops? So for this, we are going to use the empty cast data. So this data comes preloaded uh, with, uh, with R and this would create a data frame. So we are going to use the data function and empty cars. So let's load this data. So we have over here this empty cars. We have 32 observations, right? This data set contains different cars, their mileage, their cylinders, their horsepowers, etc. weight, right? So these are different kind of variables that are there and it is a data frame, right? Uh, okay. So, uh, Again, in this video, we are going to work with this tidyverse package. And if you haven't installed this tidyverse package, so you need to install it using install.packages and then specify the name of the package. I have already installed it, so I'm not going to execute this line of code. I'm just going to load this library into my, uh, my R uh, environment. So what I am going to do is I'm going to create a variable weight. So we already have this WT variable that contains the weight of a car. Uh, in pounds. So this is in thousands of pounds. So this means that 2.620 means it is uh, 2,620 pounds, right? So what I want to do is I want to create a column over here that would, uh, its name would be weight, W-E-I-G-H-T, and it would contain uh, the weight in units. So this is thousands, this is in thousands unit. I want it in, in units. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to create uh, I'm going to take the, uh, the empty cast data and then I'm going to mutate a variable called uh, weight that would have no value. So any means if you want to create an, uh, an empty value, empty, empty columns. Uh, so any is used for missing values. And we are going to uh, store that into the same, uh, same object. So we have over here this weight column that contains no value. So what we are going to do is we are going to populate this weight variable using loop. So here we, we know that we have 32 rows, right? But we want to make a dynamic uh, way of uh, working with loop. So we are going to loop through each row. So if you have watched our previous video, you would know how to work with for loop. We write the word for, then any name of a variable, uh, that we will, uh, want to assign the word in and then we provide the range. So what I want to do is I want to start with the first row and then move till we know that there are 32 rows, right? So I could have just tried 32, but what we want is we could be using, uh, you know, other data sets and the other data sets might have different number of rows. So we would want our program to be more dynamic, right? So what I'm doing is I'm using this end row uh, function, which would get the number of rows uh, from this empty cars data frame. So let me execute this chunk of code. Okay, sorry, I didn't select that. Okay, so it would give us 32 and that means that this chunk of go code uh, would end up being 32. So it is similar to writing 32, but now it is more dynamic. So I want to loop through one to 32, the number of rows in the empty cars. And now what I want to do is I want to, uh, in each value, in each row, what I want is I want to take this value, multiply it by thousand and write it over here. So I'm going to do that using loop. So we can do that, you know, in a more easy way. Uh, so, uh, ignore this chunk of code, uh, the, the for loop and what we could have simply done is used empty cars, mutate, generate a variable, multiply FT, uh, WT with, with, with thousand and we could have got this weight to variable in that. But I just want to, uh, uh make you understand the process, uh, right? So obviously in this specific case, it isn't the more efficient way of doing this but this would help us uh, in understanding the process. So, uh, what I want is, uh, let's just ignore this code, right? And let me just uh, write it over here. So what I want is, I want to take the empty cars uh, 
data frame and I want to get the weight column and remember the weight column is empty if you select this press control enter we get all NAs there are 32 values and they are all empty so what I want is I just want to get the first row and now we get the first row and again it isn't it is empty but now we know that we are in the first row right and now what I want to assign it is again I want to assign it a value from empty cars but from the WT column which is weight in uh, thousands of unit uh, from the first row multiply it by 1000 now if I do this what I should get is I would have replaced this specific value uh, so I would have taken this multiplied it by a thousand and now I have uh, this weight in in units now I want to do that in loop for each row so what I do is I simply replace this one with I this is normally how uh, I would make loops I would just write the code and then uh, convert that into loop right so this is the exact same code that I have written over here let me remove this and now if I execute this code we would have a weight in each row but using loop right so now we have understood how do we loop through each row uh, let's understand how do we loop through each column so the concept is somewhat similar uh, but instead of using n row we are using n column and that would give us the number of columns that we have in our data and we know we have 13 columns you can count that over here if you want to so now what I want to do is I want to get these names and change these names by adding a suffix uh, to all of these name let's say I want this to be mpg and then a suffix car so this would be mpg car this would be cyl car right so let me again uh, comment this out and let me walk you through the process of how do we do this so we write the column names function what this would do is it would get the column names and uh, we want the column names of, of empty cars uh, data frame now if i execute this we get all the column names but i just want the first one right and now what i want to do with this first column name is i want to assign it a another name right so what I do is I want it to be uh, column names plus a prefix of a suffix car now we, I want to concatenate uh, certain characters so for that we use this paste zero or paste function uh, so now what I want to do is I want to get the column names again of this empty cars the first column right so this would give us again the uh okay so i haven't used the parentheses over here right so this would give us mpg because that is the first uh, column name so we want to to also have another character over here and that would be this string car right so what this would give us is mpg underscore car right and what this is just mpg see we want to change this mpg into mpg car right so we want to assign this thing to this specific thing uh, let me remove this uh, okay and now because i want to do that so first let me execute this code and it would do this for just the first car right sorry for the first column I want to do this for all the columns so what I do is I use loop and instead of one I use I and now it would iterate through all the columns uh, each time assigning uh, a new name right so now we have converted that because I have already assigned mpg underscore car so within this new loop it had added another car character over here so right so that is how we work with uh, loops uh, in data frame so I hope that was useful uh, thanks for watching this video do subscribe to this channel and do hit the bell icon.